Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a few different things that you can do with these backgrounds and patterns besides the obvious which is just using the patterns as a background themselves. So the first thing that we're going to do is use one of them as a photo overlay. So I have the photo open that I'm going to be working on and I'm going to drag in one of the patterns from uh, this week's deal and I'm going to resize it so it covers the entire canvas and finish placing it. Next, I'm going to change the blend mode to linear burn, and you'll see that it gives it uh, a darker look, which is not really what you want on a bright sunny photo of a child like this. So what we're going to do is with that layer selected, we're going to create a layer mask. So you click layer, layer mask, reveal all, and then with that layer mask selected, we're going to choose a brush and using black. Um, you can see the brush settings. The hardness is set all the way down. The size is uh, 1600, which is going to be relative to your photo. Um, but we're going to make it so it's just big enough to cover the basically over three edges of the photo. And all we're going to do is click. And you can see that we just made um, a layer mask with the texture from the pattern pack showing only around the edges and not covering the face. So another thing that we're going to do here is just add an adjustment layer with a photo filter to warm the image a bit. And I'm going to take this texture down to about 75% opacity instead of 100. So you can see with just a couple quick steps we went from uh, this, which is the original, which is a nice photo and it's fine, but if you want to add a little more character, uh, you can see in the after, just gives it a nice little grungy vignette and warms it up a bit. The next one that I'm going to show you is how to turn any of these patterns into a pattern so you can use them within Photoshop layer styles. So here we have a brown polka dot pattern and all you need to do is click edit, define pattern, choose a name and hit OK. Now I'm going to run over to this green stripes pattern. Uh, I'm going to create just a little rounded rectangle button here. And you'll see if we open the layer styles dialog, go to pattern overlay you'll see that the pattern we just created shows up there. Um, so we'll take that, make the scale about 50%. That looks pretty good. So we can add all kinds of other effects, um, just like a little bevel emboss, a drop shadow, maybe a, some kind of gradient here to give it a little more depth. So I'll make uh, white to black to a dark gray gradient and turn that to soft light maybe to 50 percent or so you can see that gives it a extra 3d touch so with every button you'll need some text so all we're gonna do is make our text say the word button place that in there and then with layer styles I'll add um, a white to black gradient change the opacity so it's just white to gray give it another bevel and emboss but this time I want it to look like it's embossed down and change that to outer bevel uh, maybe add a little inner shadow to that so it looks more 3D take it down so it's barely noticeable so there you have it all you have to do is use some of these patterns um, within layer styles using some of the other effects and you can get a nice little polka dot or pattern button there so I hope this video was helpful just to give you a couple more ideas of what you can do with these patterns and backgrounds. So make sure you grab this week's deal and I'll see you guys next time.